At just 10 years of age, this little girl is saved from a forced marriage. Her parents agree to sell her to a man 15 years her senior for $2,500, but the marriage has been annulled. An association is taking the family away from the camp where they lived. After a four-hour drive, they arrive in the big city of Herat, a leap into the unknown for Amina and her family. Three months ago, we met in the remote province of Badgis, in the middle of the mountains. In the camp, neither Taliban or NGO were present, only women and children trying to survive. Many of the girls were being sold as a source of income for the families. Do you know when you're leaving? And how are you feeling? Do you feel ashamed for selling her when you see her crying like that? It's because our children are starving. I have no other choice. Today, Amina and her family have been relocated. Her father welcomes us. Today, with the aid they've received from the association too young to wed, the family can dream of a better future. We are going to do our best for you. Together with his colleagues, Aziz Tawakoli managed to have the marriage annulled. They were the ones who helped the family leave the camp. Can you explain to me? Maybe we go. Okay, okay. Because it's complicated again. Okay. To go further into detail, Aziz brings us into the living room to speak discreetly. It happened under the supervision of the imams in their neighborhood. To annul the marriage, we had to promise to help the father find a job. We had to sign a written agreement that the father must reimburse the husband within a year or two. The organization treads a delicate balance working to find a solution for families, but never buy back children directly. They fear parents could be tempted to sell their children to get more aid. In the camp where Amina lived, we met another family, a very different situation. Four-year-old Sabera was sold by her mother for $500 to a couple who could not have children. I had to sell her, even though I know that no one should separate a mother from her child. How could I give away a little girl like her? What if my children were going to starve to death? Sabera has been reunited with her family. Thanks to the association, the adoption was cancelled. Today, the little girl goes to school in Herat for the very first time. A completely new experience. Sabara felt uncomfortable, never mind the music and kind teacher. She stayed in the kindergarten class for no more than a quarter of an hour. She didn't say a word. In the most poor and remote region of Afghanistan, selling young girls is a custom. And you're never going to sell your daughter again? No, I'll never sell her again. I love my daughter very much. I had to sell her and I couldn't stop crying afterwards. Since the Taliban's return, Human rights agencies estimate that the number of girls being sold is increasing. The practice has officially been denounced by the Taliban, but for some families, it's the only means of survival. Yeah.